Hello, Corrales family. This is your pastor speaking, Pastor Andre Ahais, and these are the September announcements with a little bit of a delay, but that's okay. And that rhymed. Let's start off with our speaking, our preaching schedule. This coming Sabbath, September 7th, we're going to have our guest speaker, Raquel Ahais. She is the Women's Ministry Associate Director for the General Conference, and she happens to be my mother. Great speaker, great mother. So come and support her. Uh, September 14, uh, I'll be speaking, continuing on in the series on the Gospel of Luke. And it's also our community service Sabbath, as you all know, or maybe you don't. Every second Sabbath, we have volunteers going to Coronado Park there at I-40 and 2nd Street. Uh, in this... Um, this kind of service in feeding the homeless. And it's a great time to, to be serving the community. Uh, so we hope that you can be there or volunteer in some ways. If you have any more questions, just speak with Al Montes and he'll give you more information on that. September 21, SVA will be taking care of the whole service. Uh, it's going to be an SVA-led Sabbath. So come and support our high school kids. September 28th, very likely will be our communion service Sabbath. So, uh, if you want to know beforehand, there you go. Communion will take place on September 28th. So this is uh, our Sabbath for the month of September. However, there's more. Uh, we have prayer meeting coming back uh, in September. So September 13th, September 13th, we're going to uh, continue on our series, actually start a brand new series by the name of Befriend. And the series is all about what does it mean to be a true friend? So especially in the context of a church, especially in the context in the way that we interact with people, I think we're going to gain a lot in understanding what does it mean to be a true friend. So come uh, at 6.30 p.m. on the 13th, we'll start. And if you have never come to our prayer meetings with this new format, we have food and it's a good time for us to fellowship. So make plans to attend. And we're going to also be posting things on our social media about that as well. Also, just so you know, I think it's important. Uh, I don't know for those that have been sleeping uh, too much in these last two months. Um, SVA has left our fellowship hall building. So that's a great news. That's a fantastic um, time for our church because now we get to uh, think and brainstorm a vision of what uh, that building can become and how that building should be used. So if you have any ideas, uh, any ideas on how uh, our fellowship hall can be used and any remodeling ideas, uh, we're glad or we're actually open for any suggestions. We're here to hear your voice and dream alongside each one of our members. So this is pretty much what it is. So thank you for watching this three-minute video and hope to see you guys soon. May God bless you all.